Hi everyone, welcome back to Poetology. This video is going to be a demonstration of how I do a spread in my journal. This was a request from one of you, and so I took the opportunity of being in an amazing landscape in the northern Scottish Highlands for a few days to make a spread and film myself while I was doing this so that you can see how I fit journaling into my life and how I combine sketching and writing on a journal page. But just before we move on to this, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers because I finally reached 1000 subscribers on this channel and I'm very pleased with that and I really hope everyone is enjoying the videos I put out. I've decided to do a Q&A soon and I'll give you more information about that at the end of the video. The spread we're going to talk about today is this one. It's quite a simple spread and I did it while I was on holiday. The landscapes were amazing. I was close to the seaside and that's where I started doing this work. This was a small semi-secret beach. Here is footage of me drawing on that northern Scottish beach. I was working with a picture on my phone for this one. So I'd taken a picture of a deer skull with antlers that I'd seen in front of the hostel and decided to put this at the top of the page. I could have gone for more complex drawings, but it was a holiday, we were on the move and I didn't want to spend hours and hours sketching. So in this case, you will see very simple sketches the point is to record something from your experience that will stay with you. And I assure you, even if it seems like a simple drawing or even a little silly, over time it will take on a lot of importance because it helps you remember a time and a place where you observed certain things and recorded them in your journal. I didn't work on it again until the next day when my partner and I were driving around and we stopped at a little cafe that was I think called the Garden Cafe in Drumbeg and while we were there I decided to draw the skyline of the mountains that are behind the hostel where we were staying. We had hot drinks, we had cake and it was a bit cold but really lovely. Oh, 
By that evening I had gathered enough ideas to write about and so when we were back at the hostel I sat in the corner of the communal kitchen and started writing about the trip and what we had been up to and my thoughts about arriving in Scotland because it's my very first visit to Scotland. So by then I had two drawings on that page and a block of text. I only finished writing the following morning in the room of the youth hostel and I don't have footage of that. I was just in my bed in the morning and decided to finish writing. But you can see the final results here. I waited until I was home to put the stamps that I use. Because we only had one small backpack for this trip, I didn't bring the stamps with me, but I left a space where I knew the stamp would go later on and a small indication of which day I'd been writing on. And so I was able to just add the stamps at home. And here is the finished result of my full journal spread. I hope you find this video useful and inspiring. Don't hesitate to go and try. I didn't make a huge effort to make like a super impressive page for this video. I decided to make a more everyday kind of thing that I could easily integrate within the program that we had. And so I really encourage you to take a journal somewhere and try to do the same and just use the little pockets of time you have in the middle of a busy day to make small progress on your page. You don't necessarily need huge blocks of time to do this. Just learn to integrate little bits here and there and you will be very happy with the result. I said earlier that I would do a Q&A, so if you have any question to ask me, please put it in the comments below. You can also contact me on Twitter at Dr. Dan or on Instagram at Dan's Notebook to ask your question. And I will feature all of them in a video soon where I talk about this channel, how it all started, where I hope it's going, and answer your questions about everything. Thank you again if you have already subscribed. If you haven't, please do it. It's the best way to support Poetology and I really appreciate it. Let me know if you like to journal in the chat and if you've ever been to the Scottish Highlands. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video very soon. Bye!